love not the world, neither the things in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Now why does it say that? Because the people who rule this world are wicked. And if you want to live like they live, you have to become wicked and do what they tell you to do. This is nothing new. Satan tried to use this same trick on Christ. Let's read it. That's Matthew 4, 8 and 9. Verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. See, that's what the music industry is all about. They offer you the good life, fame, fortune, and everything you desire. But in return, you got to sell them your soul. This is not make-believe. This stuff is really happening in the music industry. Let me show you what Kanye West said at one of his concerts. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. I'm spaced out, dog. I be on that moon talk. I wonder if God asked Mike how to moonwalk. He said, I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. Then he made a reference to God talking to Michael Jackson. But let me replay that first part one more time so that you can hear him clearly say it again. I sold my soul to the devil. I sold my soul to the devil. Kanye West didn't just say that to be creative. He really sold his soul to the devil. You have to sell your soul to get to the level where he is. You got to do what they tell you to do. You got to act like they tell you to act. You got to dress like they tell you to dress because they own you. They become your God and you have to worship them. And when I say they and them, I'm talking about the Illuminati, the people who run the music industry, the people who run the whole entertainment industry for that matter. These people are Satan worshipers. They are directly connected to the devil and by selling out to them, you automatically sell out to the devil. And that's why Michael Jackson called Tommy Mottola a devil. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. See, Michael Jackson grew up in the music industry, and he knew what it was all about. He sold his soul to the devil a long time ago. Now, most people will look at this picture and see a young boy making the OK sign with his hand. But this is not the OK sign. This is a satanic hand symbol that represents 666, the seal of Satan. The circle in the first finger is one six. The circle in the second finger is another six. The circle in the last finger is another six. So when you put them all together, you get 666. Like I said, Michael Jackson grew up in the music industry. He's been involved with the Illuminati since he was young. Now, if you don't believe this hand sign means anything, take a look at these other celebrities and see what they're doing in these pictures. Here you see Beyonce, a top level witch, and we're going to deal with her next. But here you see Beyonce flashing the 666. Here's Drake, 666 over one eye. Neo, 666. Shakira, 666. Justin Timberlake, 666. Over one eye. T Pain, 666. Little Wayne, 666. Over one eye. Now look at this next one. This is Lady Gaga. Look at her right hand, 666. But notice the symbol that's in front of her. It's a pyramid with an eye inside of it. That eye is the eye of Horus. Now Horus was one of the main gods that the Egyptians worshipped. That's why when you see this eye, you often see a pyramid with it, as you see here. This pyramid with the eye inside 
It's the same symbol that Jay Z always puts up. It's also the same symbol that's on the back of the dollar bill. Because that's what this is all about. Selling your soul to the devil just to make a dollar. Back in the day, Method Man said it best in the song. Cash moves everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Cash moves everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. See, that's the mentality of these people. In the music industry, it's all about making money. Cash rules everything. All they think about is making money. These so-called celebrities are willing to do anything to be rich. Let's see what the scriptures say about that. Mark 8 and 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And that's what they do. They sell their soul to gain the world. The goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do, to get there. Like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're going to end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value system just for a little bit of fame. And it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not worth it. You must remember Michael told me repeatedly that they were going to kill him, that he was going to die. And who did it? Let's look at one more. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So you got people so caught up in chasing money because they love it so much that they destroyed themselves in the process. Yeah, now they got money, now they rich, but they serve Satan. And it also said they pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Because you got people who got everything there is to have in the world, but they're miserable because they have no type of connection with the Most High. And that's part of what happened with Michael Jackson. He was spiritually lost. See, Mike knew all about the satanic movement in the music industry because he was a part of it, but he was getting tired of it. He wanted to get out of that part of the business a long time ago, but it ain't that easy once you get in. Mike even sung about being trapped in one of his songs called You Can't Win from the movie The Wiz. Listen closely to these lyrics. Now in that song, he also said you can't break even, but he tried to leave Sony at least owning half of it. So I'm leaving Sony a free agent, owning half of Sony. Michael Jackson was frustrated, and he got ahead of himself. He got cocky, and he started to openly speak out against the Illuminati. He called Tommy Mottola a devil on national TV. sharing your bed. I don't say I slept in the bed. Even if I did sleep in the bed, it's okay. I am not going to do anything sexual to a child. It's not where my heart is. I will slip my wrist first. 
I would never do anything like that. That's not Michael Jackson, I'm sorry. That's someone else. That's someone else. As God has shown us by turning stones to bread, has God turned stones to bread? That's a lie. In fact, that's a quote of Satan right out of the Bible. Because the scriptures say, Satan said, turn these stones to bread. said the, the supposed spirits of the dead that you're talking with are demon spirits, the fallen angels, the beautiful beings. Just set it out, just like Oh that. yeah, because it gives the demon spirits an opportunity to impersonate the dead. She said her voice went through me, the power. That's someone else, that's someone else. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. Michael Jackson decided he was going to get out that deal no matter what. And the results of that decision were tragic. Michael Jackson was murdered. That claim comes from his sister LaToya, seen here waving to fans from a car in Los Angeles. She says the King of Pop was effectively killed for his money. In interviews with Sunday newspapers, she says she believes her brother was surrounded by a manipulative entourage who fed him drugs and saw him as a cash cow. This so-called bad circle is said to have forced him to sign up for 50 concerts at London's O2 Arena, when in fact he only wanted to do 10. Latoya's also spoken of the moment when she found out about Michael Jackson's death. She was told to get to the UCLA Medical Center, but before she could, her mother was on the phone screaming, he's dead. Michael Jackson was murdered because he was no longer cooperating with the system. Now the Illuminati knew that Michael Jackson was the cash cow of the family. So they came to the Jackson family and made them an offer they couldn't refuse. They took the offer. The Jackson family, with the exception of Michael's mother and his sister Latoya, sacrificed Michael Jackson's life to Baphomet as a way to keep the money. symbology within their videos what's going on right now within the entertainment industry and media at large period is the fulfilling of Alice Bailey's stratagem to make all of the arts occultic music poetry um, arts etc to make them immoral occultic obscene all of these things it is a part of the new age movement's agenda to establish a one world government system under which lucifer will be acknowledged as sovereign why because our minds will be already acclimated to receiving these demonic suggestions as something that is good because we have enjoyed it in our music we've enjoyed it in our television programs our cartoons our video games and in our clothing 
ASAP is a new group that is just blowing up the same way that Odd Future blew up, the same way that Lady Gaga blew up, and every other artist that is jumping in the industry right now that is making sure that within their videos, on the clothing that they're wearing, they are throwing out occult symbols all over the place and connected with those occult symbols within their music, though they may not make a conscious decision to do this, but because they've become ready agents of the devil, because they have submitted their hearts not to Jesus Christ, but to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, the very principles contained within their music are the very principles that are connected to the symbols that are being promoted from the occult. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what's transpiring. Going back to the story, my entertainment insider was at this event, came in contact with ASAP Rocky and was impressed because this group came up out of Harlem, New York, came up out of nothing, and just recently they got a million dollar deal. I wasn't surprised because I saw that they were connecting themselves with the occult. So that is always going to be the direct result of that type of activity. And so he, t he got one of their mixtapes, went home, he began to listen to it over and over and over and over again in his car, in his home. But one night as he was listening to one of the particular songs, he saw some eyes in the dark. His room was dark and he saw some eyes in the room. And then he began to feel like he was being ripped from the inside out. What he was experiencing was a demonic attack. ASAP Rocky, Lady Gaga, Kanye West, Tyler the Creator, and Odd Future, Wolfgang Kill Them All, all these guys, they're just examples of what's going on on a broad scale with the entire media industry at large. Why? Because it is the agency, the platform by which the devil can reach the masses in the shortest period of time, and you're falling for this garbage hook line and sinker. I understand that the music is attractive. I understand the media is attractive. I was in the industry. I was producing that garbage to dwarf your minds, to pervert your intellect, and to draw you out of a relationship with Jesus Christ. I was a part of that whole system. But I'm telling you from the inside out, it's time to make a clear break. Choose you this day whom you will serve. You want ASAP Rocky? Have him. Trust me, you need to stop listening to that garbage as soon as possible. That's what ASAP is an acronym. Right here? That's the Illuminati. I'm from the Illuminati. Right there. Nice. Fuck you. No, man. I'm really from the I'm Illuminati. I'm part of the Baphomet, bitch. I'm from the Illuminati. Okay. I'm from Third Ward. I'm from the Illuminati. Oh, so you have to fuck, fuck Jay-Z? No, Odd Future is a small thing of uh, the Illuminati.